card number four Saint Valentine's Day Massacre Saint Valentine's Day Massacre America's drug of choice. On January 19, 1920, the 18th Amendment became law, making alcohol illegal. Not only was prohibition unenforceable, the enormous profits generated by bootlegging creating an, created a new criminal class whose legacy flourished long after the law was repealed on December 5, 19, 1933. Though Chicago gangster Al Capone, whose internecine, internecine St. Valentine's Day Massacre of 1929 symbolized the mob violence of Prohibition era, was in jail by then, bootleggers like Lu Lucky Luciano, Meyer Lansky, Mo Dalitz, and Frank Costello used their ill-gotten millions to create legal liquor liquor empires and corner the gambling business and the heroin trade joseph kennedy used his bootlegging fortunes to create a political dynasty the violence during prohibition taught mob leaders the value of bribes over bullets and of cooperation between families of cartels Eventually, both labor unions, especially the Teamsters and Hollywood, became victims of this powerful new national crime syndicate. Not only is alcohol use legal, it is often glamorized. Beer makers spend billions sponsoring major sporting events and linking beer drinking to athletics in their TV ads. Producers of high octane low-cost beers and wines like King Cobra and Tight Train Express target ghetto communities with special promotions but the figures on alcohol abuse aren't pretty out of 102 million use users in the US 18 million you abuse or are addicted to alcohol costing the US 120 billion a year in lost work accidents treatment costs and deaths each year 75,000 babies are born with permanent brain damage which can occur with even moderate alcohol use during pregnancy alcohol is a causative factor in one-third of out one-third of all accidental deaths okay. and i believe the person here joseph kennedy we're talking the kennedys La dynasty right john f kennedy i believe that would have been his grandfather i'm assuming maybe if i'm not mistaken and this is i believe al capone right. yeah and alcohol was illegal for 13 years in the united states i believe 1920 to 19 13 years 1933 incredible incredible right incredible incredible